with Cheryl Dunyer, uh, who just received the Artistic Achievement Award for a director. Welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. This is my home city. So I was, you're a Temple uh, alum. Yeah, I'm a Temple alum, and I grew up in this community and made my first film, The Watermelon Woman, right here in Philadelphia. Yes, and that was like a very groundbreaking movie at the time. How was it received when you made it? Um, I think it was received quite well because it was the first African-American lesbian feature film ever made. And it won the Teddy Award in Berlin at the Berlinale Film Festival. And that was just so important to me to really launch my um, filmmaking career as a queer filmmaker and definitely you know, put me in a whole new light and world. Great. Well, tell us about The Owls. The Owls. You're about to see, um, I guess, my new project, um, sort of returning back to my roots. Um, I deal with, in the film, um, using actors from that golden age of queer cinema. So you have Guinevere Turner and myself, who are actually in The Watermelon Woman, uh, V.S. Brody from Go Fish, um, Lisa Gornick, who did Tick Tock Lullaby, and a few other actors that are intro being introduced, some people from The L Word, whatnot. But it's a thriller, and it's something quite different. I don't really do genre so much, but now I'm exploring genre. So it's about four older, wiser lesbians, that's what owls stand for, uh, who accidentally kill a younger lesbian and try to get away with it. And do you feel that there's a lot of issues? I mean, you always trying to deal with some of the issues you dealt with the interracial couples, and now we're dealing with the more mature lesbians, which aren't always shown on, on, on cinema. You know, I mean, has that really been received well by audiences? And it actually has. The film has screened at several lesbian and gay film festivals, and the audience is interesting because there is an older crowd and there is a younger crowd, and there's a lot of in the film that there's a whole talking head sequence that has a dialogue going on, and people get interviewed and talked, and um, people really love it because they actually get to communicate and learn and sort of. Um, we don't deal so much with race, but we actually deal with age. That's great. So what is your next project? What are you doing in the future? Um, I'm actually off to Berlin, and I'll be shooting my first adult comedy. If you could put adult and comedy <laughs> together. Um, called Mommy is Coming. Uh, it's about a mother-daughter. I love mothers and daughters. Um, and uh, somebody who's mistaken by both mom and daughter as their lover. And I'm not going to give more away than that. And when can we see that? Um, you'll hopefully see it probably by the end of the year. So maybe you'll come back for next year's Q-Fest? Oh, definitely. I'll be back. Great. Well, thank you very much, and thank we're looking you. forward to the movie. Okay, great. See you. See you.